Hi guys, it's Helen. Today I'm gonna to be making a really quick video on what to pack for your dog if you're taking your dog on holiday. So tomorrow, Evie and Evie's dad and I are going to Manchester and it's gonna be Evie's first holiday. You excited? Mm, yes, she's excited. We're gonna be staying in an Airbnb, which I've never done before, so that's really exciting. So let's get down into what we're gonna pack for Evie in her little travel bag. So first thing, obviously important, is food. I've just stuck it in a little Ziploc bag, so I don't need to take the whole thing with me. The kind of food that Evie gets is this stuff. James Well Beloved is so good, the only stuff that really keeps her tummy happy. But we also have for Evie joint aid. I've just stuck it in a little Ziploc bag as well rather than take the whole thing. So this is joint aid. Evie has what is called a laxated patella, which is really common in small dogs. If your dog has a laxated patella and you want to hear more about it or you're just interested, please do let me know in the comments down below. But this stuff is so good for her. She used to sort of hop along her back leg, she would hold it up. It, it caused her a bit of pain. Ever since we got her this joint aid, she has been fantastic. So joint aid is going in the bag. The next thing we have for Evie is chews. She needs lots of chews. I don't know about your dog, but Evie can be a bit of a pain if we're on public transport and she's seen people that she's not really used to. So we have these seasonal chews for Evie. We get them from Morrison's. <laughs> As you can see, she's quite excited by the prospect of them. They keep her busy for hours, so we're taking the train down to Manchester tomorrow. These should helpfully, hopefully, keep her busy. And we also get these rawhide pork chews. One of those will keep her busy for about 15 minutes and you can get these at Morrison's. The next thing to bring is a little portable water bottle. It's really important that your dog stays hydrated, just the same as you. So what this is, is it's a little bottle and if you go like this and tilt it back, it should begin to fill up the little tray. And then your dog can just drink out of the little tray. So probably gonna be out a lot during the day when we're in Manchester, so we're gonna use this then. This is from Poundland and as the name suggests, it costs a pound. Definitely worth an investment. I see people all the time using the little clip. So you could just, oh, this one's a bit funny. There we go. You could just clip it onto your belt or whatever it is you use for taking your dog out. So definitely handy. Next, we have the lovely poo bags. Yeah. So these poo bags are from Poundland and I like them because they're pretty cute. A little pack of four lasts me maybe a month, just over a month, so a pound is pretty good. And these go in a little holder in our lead. What is it you're seeing? So the poo bags go in here. I'm sure you've seen people with them before at the park. And you can just take the poo bag out. And it is just so handy because I always forget to bring them with me. If it's attached to the lead, I'm not gonna forget it because I'm not gonna forget our lead. The next item for Evie is just a blanket. This is a blanket that she used to have in her old crate, but we actually got her new crate. She doesn't need this anymore, but it's gonna be something that smells like home, so it's gonna keep her a little bit chilled out. It's gonna be great for when we're on the train to put on the ground, or even if we're in bars and restaurants, if, they're, if she's not allowed up on the seat, she likes to have something to lie down on. So it's just a little small, blanket rather than taking a whole bed with you can be quite handy to just take a little blanket. The next thing I have you're only going to be able to take if you have a small dog and even then you might think I'm a bit mad for having it but this is a bag for putting your dog in. If you look inside it's sort of padded and it has a little attachment here so you can attach on your dog's harness or straight to the collar, whatever it is you use for your dog. Goes around you like this and your dog just goes in here. So as you can see, the dog goes in the bag and if she gets a bit nervous, if it's too busy on the train or something like that, you can just pop them in and she's quite happy in there. It means she gets to walk about with people, it's quite sturdy, like I said, you can attach it to things. So yeah, I do plan to decorate it with some patches and things. So that's it for the essentials. I do have a couple of extra things that I'm gonna bring with me that aren't necessarily essentials. The first of which is this. It's really cute. This is a little tray for her food. So since we're staying at an Airbnb, we don't want her spilling her food or spilling her water everywhere. So I'm just gonna bring this little tray. We use this at home all the time and it's really cute. 
It says, have you washed your paws? Press here for service. Food, water, it's really cute. I got it on, not on the high street, and it was about 15 quid, I think. You can probably find it marked down, but it is really cute, and just to protect the floors when we're away in somebody else's house. And the last thing is, Definitely not an essential, but I saw it, I, well, I didn't even see it at Pets at Home. I saw it on a friend's Snapchat and I thought, oh my God, I have to get that. So what I got is this paw circle. Have a look. What it is, is a still wine for cats and dogs. Don't worry, it's not alcoholic. It is healthy herbal infusion of elderflower, nettle, ginseng, lime flower and carrot and it's to be served over food. So me and Steve are gonna be having some beers and some wine, so she needs to have her own. It's her first holiday. So this is the rosé. I'm saving, there is a white one as well. This cost, I think it was marked down. It was, I think about two pounds for this. So it is a complete non-essential, but if you wanna do something a little bit silly on your little pet holiday something to get eh? So that's it from us. We are all set for our holiday to Manchester tomorrow. We are super excited. I hope this video was useful and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Mm.